Hello everyone! In this video, I will create and demonstrate pods using this sample invoice template. Pods stand for Portable Object Docklets and are a way to save something you created in Microsoft Office that can be moved from one template and used in another by simple drag and drop. Now, there are two steps to this process. The first step is to create a data source pod. And to do that, you click on the pod bin under the Windward ribbon, then click on create, and then data source pod. This dialog is used to create a pod or a .rdlx file. Select the data source for which you wish to create a pod, then click browse to enter the name and location of the pod file. Then click OK. Now the second step is to create a docklet pod. This contains all the content that you want to save and then copy into another template. So I'm going to save this template here in sections. Now all you need to do is highlight the section that you want to save. And then again, click Create. This time, choose Standard Pod. Choose the button selected. Give it a pod name. Choose your pod file location and choose New to make a new pod. This will bring up a dialog to name and save your new pod file to a specific location. You can give it a description if you would like. And then click OK. Now that you've created your pods, you need to load them for them to be used and visible in your pod bin. Click on Load Pods and choose either Add Local or Global. Local is best for making this pod available only for this particular individual template and only the person who creates it will have access to it. Global would make the pods in each pod file available every time you open Microsoft Office and the designer itself. Myself or anyone else using the designer will have access to it. I'm going to choose Global for this example. After choosing Global, click Add File and then browse to your local file or you could enter the URL. Choose it, then click Open. Enter the authentication protocol if you want your pod file secured. Then click OK. And then close. Now you can see your new pod populated in the pod bin. Now I'm going to do this for each of these sections so I can add them to a new template. Now that I've added all the individual elements under my new pod, I'm going to open up a new document, position my mouse where I want my pods to start, go to Windward, then Pod Bin, expand Title Invoice Pod, connect to my data source by double clicking, and as you can see, that green circle means I'm now connected. And then I'm going to start drag and dropping, or you could also double click, all of my pod elements. After all the elements you want are added, click Generate Output. 
click OK. And there you go. You've just created an entirely new template using pods. Thank you so much for watching.